How about a biscuit? Lady held out a plate with a pile of crawler biscuits on top, still sending up dancing puffs of steam. One for each leg, Whimsy asked. She was met with a stern eye. Why do you think the plate has eight? All right, so we are going to start the very first square in the wish scan. This is gonna be the crawler biscuit. So it's a cookie that in the book is given out by Lady Porcupine. And it's sort of a central object throughout the story um, that signifies friendship and giving and all of those warm sort of feelings that uh, a, a nice biscuit can give. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. What you should have is you should have your bobbins already set up. If you haven't, you can pause the video. These bobbins I found at the dollar store. They're, they're just plastic clothespins that you can use as bobbins and they make things so much easier as you work through and there's a lot of color changes to be able to pin these to your work when you're ready to flip. So you should have five colors. We've got yellow, white, light brown, dark brown, and black. Okay, so when you've got all your bobbins ready, you've got your size H crochet hook and a pair of scissors, and we're ready to crochet. So the first color we're going to need is yellow. On your pattern, you should have the increasing rows starting with one Y, which is yellow. So we're gonna be doing about seven rows of just yellow. So let's go ahead and get started. And these videos are made for if you've never done corner to corner crochet, I'm here to help you learn how to do corner to corner crochet. Um, if you've done it before, this should be a cinch. You can always skip ahead. If you're ready to work on color changes, then we'd be starting those on row eight. So row one, how you wanna start is you wanna go ahead and first make a slip knot on your hook. Okay, so that's a slip knot. And just in case you've never done one, you can wrap the yarn around your fingers. Okay, and on the top of your fingers, you're gonna pull that tail through, but not all the way. You're just pulling up a loop, tightening it, and then it allows the tail to be able to pull the loop tight. Okay, so that's a slip knot. We're gonna start with one of those. Now, I work short little squares. Sometimes in corner to corner, people will chain six and they make the squares a little bit bigger and a little bit more space in between, but I like to keep them small so there's less gaps in between the squares. So what I do is I do short squares. So I start with chaining five. So to chain, you wrap the yarn around your hook and then you pull it through that loop. That's one chain. And that's all you do for a chain. You yarn over from the back and you pull it through the loop that's already on your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, one more time, yarn over, pull through. So you can count them, it looks like a braid. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that is your starting chain that you're going to work into as you work this first square for your corner to corner graph scan, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to yarn over and we need to do a double crochet. This is US terms, okay? So we're doing a double crochet and it's gonna be into the third chain from your hook. So count from your hook. You're gonna count one, two, three. So in that third chain, you go in here through that back loop, okay? And through the middle of your braid, in other words, yarn over from the back, pull a loop forward. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, now there's four loops. Pull through two loops. Now you should have two loops left. You're gonna yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. So you've just done one double crochet into your starting chain. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do two more double crochets to work our way to the end of that chain, or the beginning rather, of where you started. All right, so you're gonna yarn over again, go in through the next one, and through the middle of the next one, yarn over from the back, Pull a loop forward, now you got three on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now you've got two left on your hook. Yarn over again, there's three. And pull through the last two loops, okay? There's another double crochet. I'm gonna do one more, so yarn over again, 
go in through the middle of the last chain there, yarn over from the back, pull a loop forward. Now you've got three, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over again, pull through the last two loops, okay? All right, so you've done your first square, row one, which is just one yellow square, that's it. Okay, so now we're gonna start row two, which is also yellow squares as well. So first thing we need to do, because we're increasing, is we need to build up, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to chain five again, just like we did in the very beginning. So yarn over, pull through, there's one, yarn over, pull through, there's two, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through five, okay? So now it kinda looks like an L shape, if you will, all right? So now we're gonna do the same thing we did for the first square. We're gonna go ahead and work back into that chain. We're gonna work into the third chain from the hook. There's one, two, three. So we're gonna work into this chain right here. Yarn over from the back, go in through the middle, just like you did before. Yarn over again, pull forward. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. Yarn over again, pull through last two loops. That's your double crochet, the first one. Yarn over again, go into the next one. Yarn over from the back, pull forward, yarn over again, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. There's another double crochet, okay? One more chain here, so yarn over, go in through the middle of that last chain, yarn over from the back and pull forward. We're gonna yarn over again, pull through the first two loops, yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. Okay, so that is the first of the two yellow squares on your second row. All right, so right now it looks like a pair of pants, okay? But that's not what you want it to look like. You need to actually work across. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip the left side up, okay? So it's beside the one that you just did. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna work into that chain space here, okay? When you did your initial, when you worked into the third chain from the hook, it created this sort of first line here. So if you will, if you're looking at each square, you're gonna have three double crochets and then there's gonna be a chain up to build up to the height of a double crochet, okay? So this is that chain space. I often call it the wiggle space if you've been here with me before because it you just wiggle your needle in and then you can feel where that space or that opening is. All right, so we're gonna go in through the front here, yarn over from the back, and what we're doing is we're doing a slip stitch. So you just pull it through, okay? And that connects the two together. So now they're, side, they're all together side by side. Now we're building on top of that one, okay? Because as you do corner to corner, you're going like this. You're going on a diagonal. So what you need to do is you need to build up that chain, right, in order to get it to the height of a double crochet. Now, again, generally speaking, a lot of times you would chain three if you wanted to build up to the height of a double crochet but because i work short squares which means there's less of a gap in between them i only do a chain two okay and then i go ahead and i start my double crochets they're all going to be made into that same wiggle space okay so i yarned over i go into the wiggle space yarn over and pull forward yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through last there's the first one do another, so I yarned over, go in, pull forward a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops, okay? We need one more. So we yarn over, go in through that wiggle space, yarn over from the back and pull forward, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. So that ends row two. So here was row one, that first square, and then row two is going on a diagonal. So now it always keeps that that L shape as you're building it up and up and up, okay? As we increase, we will be increasing on both ends, okay? And then I'll explain decreasing once we get there. So we're gonna be doing the same thing for the first seven rows of this, okay? So for seven rows, we're just using yellow, we're not doing any color changes, we're just building on again. So I'm gonna do one more row with you and then we'll skip ahead and get to row eight where we're gonna have to do some color changes. Okay, so for now we're gonna have to go ahead and build up again because we're increasing. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and do five chains. So there's one, yarn over, pull through, there's two, three, four, and five. Okay, now I need to work back into the third chain from the hook. 
So I'm yarning over, go in through the middle of that chain from the back. We're going to yarn over again, yarn over, and now we've got four loops. We're going to pull through the first two. Make sure you don't split your yarn there. Yarn over again and pull through the last two. And then we're going to go ahead and continue working up the chain. So I'm yarning over, going into the next chain from that double crochet we just made. Okay, now I'm going through the first two loops, going through the last two loops, and let's do the last one. We yarned over, we go through the middle of that that chain right there, yarn over from the back, pull forward, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two, okay? All right, so now we've got that same sort of pants action. One side's bigger than the other because we've already started building up our our uh, rows here, but now we're gonna have to, we wanna go back up and we don't want to have this floppy bit here. So we're gonna flip it up again, just like we did last time. We're gonna find that wiggle space right there underneath that chain, okay? We're gonna go in through there, yarn over from the back, pull forward, and then pull through the loop. That's your slip stitch in order to get them connected, okay? So now we're connected, we're building up the ladder we're gonna go ahead and chain two, one, two, and then do our three double crochets into that same space right there, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do one, there's two, there's three, okay? We're working on up, we're gonna go into the next one, go into that same wiggle space, do a slip stitch to connect, okay, chain two, and three double crochets into that space. And there's two, and the last, last one, there's three, all right? All right, so now we've got one row, two rows, three rows of yellow. We're gonna do the same thing until we get to row eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you continue on following the same thing we just did. If you need to back up a little bit just to see how we did it again, um, you can do that. But I will meet you back at the start of row eight. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've finished row seven. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you're gonna have seven across and seven up. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with row eight. So you're gonna need to continue with your yellow. You're gonna need a dark brown and then another bobbin of yellow. Okay, so the first square is just one yellow square. So we're gonna do start our increase with the yellow continuing on. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Working our double crochets back up that chain starting in the third chain from the hook. There's two and there's three. All right, we're gonna flip our work up just like we did before, okay? Now we need to grab our dark brown. All right, you can attach these a couple different ways. I've seen it done where you can do a slip knot on the new color and this helps it to stay on the hook better, to keep the tension. It's not 100% necessary. You can always, without the slip knot, just lay the yarn across and then just weave in the tail as you would normally at the end. But for this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do the slip knot to show you how it works, okay? So to attach the next color, what I do is I go in from the back for color changes. Okay, normally you would go in from the front if you were using the same color. For color change, I'm going in from the back. Okay, I'm gonna put that slipped knot right there on my hook. Okay, make sure you're grabbing your working yarn and not your tail. Pull it through to do your slip stitch there, right, to get those to connect. And now, you dropped the yellow, you're gonna go ahead and chain two as with the next color, and then just continue on with the next color. I usually work the first square around the tail that I've left on the other new color there, just to help secure it in between, okay? 
okay? And I also like to keep things nice and tight, so as I'm changing colors, I'm keeping sure that all of my strands are nice and tight. We don't wanna have gaps in the work as we're working through. Okay, now I put the tail to the back, and we are continuing on with the dark. We're gonna do four of the dark brown. So now that I've got my color, it's the same color, now I'm gonna go in through the front. Okay, I only do going in from the back for the color changes. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm just working up with this dark brown. We're starting our cookie here, or our crawler biscuit from the book. And this is our fourth. Bobbins like to jump towards you, so just pull them away as, as needed. All right, okay. So now we've done four dark squares, dark brown squares. Now we need to grab our other yellow bobbin. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my slip knot, make my slip knot here. Okay, we're going in again from the back because we're changing color. Put my slip knot on the hook. Grab, making sure I'm grabbing my working yarn. Pull that loop through and through the last of the brown. Now I tighten the brown. As I said, you wanna always keep these nice and tight as you get to them. Go ahead and do your chain two and then do your double crochet around that tail. Okay, so there's the three double crochet to start on the yellow. We're gonna be doing three yellow squares to finish this row. Going in now from the front because we're using the same color. Okay, we'll just go ahead and finish this row together here. We're doing our three double crochets after we've done our, our slip stitch and our chain two, and we do more three more double crochets. This is the last square here on row eight. Okay, row nine. Now that we've finished row eight, okay. Row nine starts with a yellow, just one. So we're gonna go ahead and build up so we do our five chains, and we go ahead and do, in the third chain from the hook, we start our double crochets. All right, and then continue on up that chain two more times before we're ready to flip our work. Okay, now we can start it at this point if it's easier for you, but the reason we have the bobbins is so that we can actually clip them onto the work for when we do that flip. Now, with there being only three bobbins, it's not as crucial, but just to kind of show you, now we only have the one that we're working with, and when we flip it, we're not letting any of the yarns mingle and knot together, okay? So now we can unclip it. Nothing's tangled, everything's where it's supposed to be, okay? So we've done our one yellow square. The next thing we're going to do is three dark brown squares, okay? So now, look how far up we are here with the dark brown, and we've got all this yellow. You can do it a couple different ways. You could snip this off and have one more end to tie in, but as we all know um, on these patterns that I do, there's a lot of ends to tie in if you've <laughs> worked through these with me before. So, the least amount of ends you have to tie in, the better. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the brown. I'm gonna hold on to it. Going in here from the back, I'm switching the color, okay? I'm yarning over, and I'm gonna pull through as I would normally do with a new color, okay? Now, I want this to be somewhat tight. I don't want this, this um, leftover yarn here, this loop here, this extra loop here to be very loose. I want it to be pretty tight, not enough to where we're bending our work, okay? Just right, we just don't want it to be loose, okay? Now, it will loosen a bit as we're working around it. We're gonna go ahead and chain two, do our three double crochets. Okay, here's three. Now, we have this nice jump here, okay? You can see it's it's tight, but it's not really buckling, and it will loosen, as I said. Okay, so you wanna go underneath that. We're trying to bring this up because we want it to rest on top of where we're gonna work so it's hidden inside the work, okay? All right, so we're gonna go underneath that jump, going in through the wiggle space, do our slip stitch. Now do our chain two and three double crochets around that jump that we just made. Our goal here is that you hide it so nobody knows it's in there. 
<laughs> All right, there's that jump there. We're gonna go underneath it, finding that wiggle space, slip stitching, okay, chain two, and three double crochets around it. All right, now, if you're looking at the work, you don't see that jump anymore because we've worked around it, okay? So you're not gonna see it at all and it's one less end that we have to tie in. All right, so the next thing we're doing on row nine is we actually need to grab our light brown yarn. So let's grab a bobbin of light brown. Okay, now if you weren't doing or you didn't want to do that slip knot, you would just Go in from the back because you're color changing and you would just sort of hold a loop with your finger and pull it through like this okay and again you would drop the tail you just have to kind of make sure you're holding on to it that slip knot just allows you to have that tension that you want in the beginning when you're connecting but it's not 100 percent necessary you will, you'll tie this in inside of uh, the middle of all of your stitches so that you can't see it later on and it'll be nice and, and secure inside. Okay, so now we're gonna work on using our light brown yarn. Okay, we've done a square of light brown and now we've gotta switch back to dark brown. So we need to grab a dark brown bobbin. See, now you're seeing how it can get tangled super easily and that's why we have these bobbins okay i'm going to go ahead and do again how i showed you with the slip knot i just want to show you both ways so that you know that you have options options are always a good thing okay so i'm going in again from the back okay i want to make sure i'm grabbing my working yarn not my tail and now i'm going to do my slip stitch to connect keeping everything nice and tight chain two okay and three double crochets as usual there we go okay all right we've done one dark we're going back to doing a light see now we're getting lots of color changes going here so let's grab a light brown okay i'm gonna do again this just helps me keep the tension and it just makes it a little easier. But again, do it however works for you. Going in from the back because we're doing a color change. Making sure you're grabbing your working yarn. Chain two, three double crochets. Okay, now again, we're changing colors one more time here. Well, actually, not one more time, we're gonna change it back to the yellow, but we're grabbing a new bobbin. This is again our dark brown. Coming in from the back, slipping that on our hook, grabbing the working yarn, not the tail. Okay, slip stitch to connect. Let's make sure everybody's nice and tight. Chain two and double crochets around that tail. Pull out your bobbin again if you need to, if it's trying to encroach on your space. <laughs> All right. Okay, there's the dark. So we've done some color changes. Now we're going back to the yellow to finish off this row. Okay, I'm tucking my tails to the back. I've seen some people actually, <laughs> it's kind of funny, um, I don't know that I could remember to do this every time, but I have seen people actually only tuck the tails to one side so that one side's already looking really pretty at the end for pictures. Um, but I just have tails all over the place. <laughs> so you can do it however you wanna. That's the beauty of crochet. Really do things so many different ways to get the same look, which is nice. We all have our different ways of holding yarn and you know, but somehow we all make our things look just as equally beautiful. Okay, so we finished row nine. Now we're gonna have, go ahead and do row 10. Row 10 starts with yellow, cause yellow is bordering the entire square. So you're always gonna have yellows on the ends. Okay, so we're starting with our five chain. We're gonna go ahead and double crochet in the third chain from the hook and in the last two chains here to start the square. 
And then, especially now, because we have, what do we have, seven bobbins right now? So I'm gonna go ahead and pin my bobbins and get ready to flip my work. All right, so I've gone ahead and pinned my bobbins. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip my work up. Okay, I like to go ahead and pull the tails down and then you can pull your bobbins away so you can see what you got working with here or what you're working with here. Okay, so tails to the bottom, working yarns to the top. And now we're going to go ahead and connect. Now, again, we're on row 10. And the first thing we're gonna do is a dark, dark brown. We've done our one yellow. We're gonna connect now and use our dark brown. Okay. Going in from the back because we're color changing. We're right, right next to it here. Makes it nice and easy. Do our chain two, three double crochets. And another suggestion you can do as you finish working with the yarn, you can always start to attach your bobbins down here if they're they're getting too unruly and jumping around each other. You can always start pinning the ones you're done with just down along the bottom here. So that's another option. Okay, so I've done the one dark. Now we're gonna go ahead and do three light browns, okay? So I pull it tight, okay? As always, whenever you are ending or starting with another color, you always wanna keep them nice and tight. I'm coming in from the back. I'm pulling that loop forward and doing my slip stitch to connect. Chain two, three double crochets. Okay, and then we're gonna start working up this row with the light brown. Now, right next to the dark brown, but we're not gonna need it because we're gonna be connecting. If you see that we're gonna do two more, so there's one here and one here, it's gonna connect these light browns together. So we're not gonna need this one, so we can go ahead and snip it away. Make sure you give yourself enough of a tail to sew in later, okay? And we're also not gonna need this other light brown one because this one is going to connect to the other, okay? So I'm gonna cut that one away as well to make it easier. And now we're gonna go ahead and work up. We're going in through the front of the squares because we're using the same color. And we're gonna go ahead and finish off doing these three light brown squares. Okay, so we've done three light brown squares. I'm keeping everything nice and tight. We're now switching back to the dark color. Okay, so I'm pulling it tight, going in from the back here, yarning over in the front and pulling through chain two and three double crochets and we're now going to do four of the dark colors so go ahead and meet me at the end of those four dark brown squares okay now we're finishing off we've done our four dark brown now this is the perfect example of why I come in from the back okay if I was going to work in from the front on this color change, you can see where my yarn is, okay? So if I did that, you can see that wrap and it doesn't look good at all, okay? So what I do is I first bring my tail here. If this is only works this way when you're right next to where the next color is that you need, okay? Not when it's up here, but when it's right next to you down here. You're gonna pull that to the back Okay, we're gonna go in from the back to the front, and then we're gonna bring this forward in the front. So in, in essence, what you're doing is you're taking that tail, you're wrapping it back and sort of creating this twist so that it looks like it fits in with the stitches and it doesn't leave an ugly jump anywhere, okay? So as you see, I came in from the, from the back here, I went forward to the front, now I'm pulling through, and you wanna make sure, and I'm gonna to try to show you this. Okay, I'm pulling through. Do you see that's the wrapped tail, or that's the wrapped jump right there. So we wrapped it to the back, kind of jumped forward, and now I'm going through. So it's creating this nice loop that you don't see. You don't see it in the front, 
You don't see it in the back, okay? That's the beauty. So I wanna do that one more time just so that you guys can see, especially if you've never done this with me before. All right, okay. So I've got my tail right down here, okay? I'm gonna bring it to the back, take my hook going over, see there's the tail, okay? Going into the back here, to the, and then bringing it to the front, yarn over from the back, and then I'm gonna pull it through, making sure that I'm going in between the square and that tail that I, that I wrapped to the back there, okay? And now I'll pull it through the brown, and then again, you don't see it there, you don't see it there. Chain two, okay? And then go ahead and do your three double crochets as usual. So that is the biggest reason why in the color change area that I go from the back to the front. And we're gonna do more of those, so if that was a little too quick um, or not quite, you didn't quite get it that time, we'll get it definitely get it by uh, the next couple rows here okay all right so now we're gonna go ahead and do row 11 we start with one yellow square okay go ahead and pin your bobbins and get ready to flip okay now we're gonna flip up okay pull your bobbins away tails down all right so now we're on row 11 and this one has quite a few color changes, okay? So let's go ahead and do this together. We're gonna start with three of the dark brown going in through the back. It's right next to it there, so we're good. Pull the yellow tight, chain two, three double crochets, and work up your ladder here until you've done three dark browns. Okay, so we've done three of the dark browns. Next, we're actually gonna start grabbing a white Okay, so grab a white bobbin and get it ready to connect. Going in from the back of the square next door. Okay, working with your working yarn here. Do your slip stitch to connect. Chain two and three double crochets. You're only doing one white square, okay, on this row. So once you've done that white square, tuck your tail. And next we're gonna grab a dark brown, okay? Another dark brown, okay? So I'm getting my hook ready, grabbing my dark yarn. I'm gonna get it ready. All right, do a slip stitch to connect. Pull the white tail. Chain two, three double crochets. It's very repetitious. Once you really get the hang of it, you're just gonna zoom off on your own, I'm sure. But if not, if you wanna just keep working with me, I love hanging out and working with you guys. All right, so we've done our dark. Now we're going to switch to our light. Pull it tight. You don't want any loose threads going around. Okay, now again, this is another one. See, we're right next door and I need to jump up. So I'm gonna wrap this to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over from the back and the front here, and pulling through, okay, and then through the dark brown. Pull the dark brown tight, chain two, three double crochets with your light brown. Okay, now we're gonna switch to dark brown. Okay, we're not gonna grab this one. Leave that one there, okay? Because we're gonna go back to the light. So you always wanna look ahead and see where you're going on your pattern. So next we're gonna grab another bobbin of dark brown. Get our thread ready here, or get our yarn ready here. Okay, again, I've gone into through the back here, grabbing my working yarn. And I've done my slip stitch to connect, chain two, three double crochets around that tail. This is making me hungry. We're crocheting a, a biscuit or a cookie here. It's making me want a cookie. 
<laughs> cup of tea. <laughs> All right, there's that. And now we're switching back to a light. So we need to grab another light bobbin. Okay, getting it ready here. Okay, slip stitch to connect. Chain two, three double crochets. All right, and then we're switching back to brown. Again, we're right next to it and we need to jump up. So we're gonna wrap this to the back. We're gonna get our hook from back to front and through the wiggle space. Yarn over from the back and pull through to connect. Now we can chain two and three double crochets. Okay, last square is the yellow square. Again, we're right next door. Pull tight, bring it the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over from the back and pull through. Okay, and then pull through the last loop of brown there. Now we're chaining two and we are going to do our three double crochets to finish off row 11. Okay, row 12 has less color changes, so we will be starting to cut some of these away. But let's go ahead and pin our bobbins so we can get ready to flip. Okay, row 12 starts with one yellow, so go ahead and start your chaining five here. And then going and doing your three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. and flip this up okay pull your tails down and unhook your bobbins and get those up here at the top so that you can see what you got what you're working with here so now we need to do five dark brown squares okay so you can take a look ahead we're gonna be going one two three so we can cut this one off Four, we can cut this one off. And five, we can also cut this one off. Okay, so we've already lessened how many bobbins we've had, but we've also increased how many tails we have to sew in later. All right, okay. So now we're working with this dark brown yarn here. Okay, so we're going in from the back to the front. Yarning over, pulling through to connect. Tighten that yellow in the back there. Chain two and three double crochets. You can see here my bobbin is running out of yarn. So we'll also talk a little bit about what to do when that happens. It's actually rather easy. Even if you finish a yarn and you really still need it on that row, you just connect a new piece as you would normally when you're doing another color. And we'll be doing that here in a minute because I'm gonna run out. So let's keep going up the stair here. We're now on the third square of the five dark brown squares. Okay, now I had enough to do three. I did not have enough to do any more than that. Now if I had been planning ahead, I could have kept this one on and just kept going with it, okay? But now that I'm looking ahead, I still have this one up here. So if you haven't cut away all of them and you still need some of that same color, and as you see here, I'm gonna do a square here for four and a square here for five, I can actually bring this yarn down just like we did before. So I'm gonna carry it down Otherwise, you would just be connecting a new yarn if you needed to connect a new bobbin, okay? But lucky for me, I had one that was still connected that I can use, and that saves me from extra loose ends to tie in. 
So now I'm working around that jump that I just had to do with that dark brown. Okay, there's the jump. I'm gonna go underneath it into this light blue square and work around the jump so that nobody knows I made it. Okay, here we go. That's the last of the dark brown squares. You should have five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, perfect. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do three white squares, okay? So I'm not gonna have you cut this one away because you are going to need it, but I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do because we're gonna be going past it as we work up the ladder here. Okay, so right now we're switching to white. We're going in from the back, grabbing our white yarn and doing our slip stitch to connect. Pull the dark brown in the back tight. Chain two, three double crochets. And three. We're doing two more whites, but let's just do this one first. I'm not even gonna jump the video ahead because I wanna show you what I'm gonna do in this next one. Again, we're trying to save ourselves from having to tie in ex any extra loose ends than we need to. We wanna make it easy on ourselves. Okay, so I still have to do one white here but my brown is here. So I'm just gonna lay it across the top here and I'm gonna work around it, all right? So I'm going in front through the front because we're still using white. I'm gonna chain two here and I'm gonna go ahead and do my three double crochets. I'm trapping this tail in between my stitches here so that you won't see it. Okay, so there's three white squares. I'm gonna drop my white all right, now we're doing two dark brown squares. So right now you can still kind of see that jump. So I'm gonna pull it tight. I usually try to make sure that it stays on the side, not jumping to the front as much as I can. You wanna pull it fairly tight, not enough to buckle anything, but enough, um, enough to where you're hiding it, okay? We're going in from the back, but you're gonna keep this in the front, and I'm gonna show you how I do these sort of switches so that you don't see them. Again, keeping a twist going along the side. All right, so I'm gonna go from the back to the front. Now, my, my, my color here, I am going to attach it. All right, so I'm gonna bring it around, grab it, and pull through. Okay, now I wanna keep it nice and tight and that's gonna create, you'll see the jump slightly. You can see it slightly there, okay? But as long as you keep everything nice and tight, you won't see it when it's just resting flat. You'll only see it if you really pull things apart, which nobody's gonna do that. So <laughs> those are nice and hidden inside there, okay? Now we can do our chain two and continue on using this brown yarn as normal. We're gonna go ahead and do two of these dark browns, and then we'll switch back to yellow to finish off row 11. Okay, again, we're right next door. Bring your yellow yarn to the back. Okay, going in from back to front for the color change. Yarn over from the back, pull through. Tighten that black yarn, or excuse me, tighten that brown yarn. Chain two and three double crochets. All right, so that's the end of row 12. We're now gonna do row 13. Row 13 starts with the yellow. Chain five, three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. Okay, whoops, here we go. And now we're gonna pin our bobbins and get ready to flip. Okay, so we spin the work, we flip up. Pull the bobbins away and pull the yarn tails down. Row 13, the next thing we're doing is three dark brown squares. So pull the nice the yarn nice and tight, going in from the back, yarn over, pull through to connect. Pull the yellow yarn tight, chain two, three double crochets. Go ahead and do those three dark brown squares. Okay, so we've done our three dark browns. The next part of the pattern is to do three black squares. Okay, we're not gonna do any more of the white. We're done with the white. So go ahead and tighten and cut away. Okay. 
Get rid of the white. Now grab your black and prepare your black. Get your working yarn ready here. Okay. Going in from the back, grabbing the new yarn color and your working yarn. Pull through to connect, chain two, three double crochets in that same wiggle space. Or continue working up the stairs and do three of the black squares. Okay, we've done three black squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and do five dark brown squares. So since we're right next door, I'm bringing that brown yarn to the back, hook from back to front, and then yarn over from the back here. Pull through and tighten my black yarn, chain two, and then go ahead and do your three double crochets into that same wiggle space for the first square. And then go ahead and continue on up the stairs to do a total of five dark brown squares. All right, so we've done five dark brown squares. We're gonna go ahead and finish off this row by doing one yellow. Pull your yellow tight since it's next door. We're gonna bring the yarn to the back, hook from back to front here, and then yarn over from the back and pull through to connect, pulling that, that brown nice and tight. Chain two, three double crochets in that same wiggle space and that will finish off row 13. Okay, now we're starting row 14. We're gonna go ahead and have a lot of color changes on this row. So we're gonna start with the yellow. So chain five, three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook, and then go ahead and get your bobbins ready to flip. Okay. Flip your bobbins up and take them off the top. All right, next we're gonna do three dark brown squares. So go ahead and go in from the back to the front, yarn over, pull through, pulling the yellow tight in the back, chain two and three double crochets, then go ahead and finish doing three of the dark brown squares. Okay, we've done three dark brown squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and do one white square so let's grab our white bobbin again, getting our yarn ready here. Okay, holding on to the working yarn, we're gonna go ahead and do our slip stitch to connect. Chain two with the new color and three double crochets. We're only doing one of the white yarn squares, so we're gonna go ahead and start another color change here immediately and we need a dark brown again. So grab another dark brown bobbin, get it ready. Going in through the back, getting that slip knot on your hook if you're doing it that way. Okay, pull through, pulling that white yarn tail tight and work around the tail of the dark brown to begin securing it. All right, we're just doing one dark brown. Next, we're switching to light brown. So grab a light brown bobbin. Okay, slip it on your hook. Pull through to connect, tightening that dark brown in the back. Chain two and three double crochets. Okay, one square only on that light brown color. Now we're switching over and we're getting this black again. We're gonna be doing three of the black squares. So again, we're right next door to the color. So we're gonna bring the yarn to the back hook from back to front, and then yarn over from the back to create that twist along the side. Chain two and three double crochets. Go ahead and finish doing two more of the dark black here. Okay, now we're done our three black. We're gonna go ahead and switch to the dark brown. So yarn to the back, since we're right next door, hook from back to front, and then yarn over from the back to do our slip stitch to connect 
chain two and three double crochets. We're only doing one dark brown because we're gonna switch after this to light brown for one square. Okay, so drop your dark brown, grab a light brown bobbin. Okay, and then go ahead and grab your working yarn on your light brown. Okay, pull through to connect, tightening the dark brown in the back, chain two and three double crochets with the light brown. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and do one more of the dark brown squares. So I'm just getting it ready here. We're gonna go in from the back. Get your, make sure you're with the working yarn. Okay, pull through, tightening the light brown and the dark brown. Chain two, three double crochets, and then we will finish off this row with a yellow. Okay, again, we're right next door, so I'm gonna pull this brown tail to the back, tighten my yellow yarn, bring it to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over from the back, and pull through to connect. Chain two, and three double crochets. That finishes off row 14. Starting row 15, we'll be doing two yellows. So I've gone ahead and I've pinned my bobbins. I am ready to flip, but let's go ahead and make that first square of yellow. So we go ahead and we do our chain five, three, four, five, and then we do our double crochet into the third chain from the hook. And in the last two chains, and then we will be preparing to flip. So if you haven't already, go ahead and pin your bobbins and get, your, get them all ready to go so they don't get tangled. All right, so now we're gonna spin and flip up, okay? And now just take a minute to pull down the tails and unpin your bobbins. So we've done one yellow square. We need to do one more yellow before we move on to doing a light brown square. So I did a slip stitch to connect, chain two, and three double crochets into that same space, making sure not to split those fibers there. Okay. All right, so there's two yellows. So next we're gonna do one light and then we're gonna do one dark. So we're gonna go ahead and cut off this dark right here. We don't need it. So go ahead and give that one a snip. Pick up your light brown right here. We're gonna go in from the back to do the color change, okay? Pull that yellow tight and do your chain two and three double crochets. This guy's trying to jump towards me here. All right, and there's three. Okay, now we're switching back to dark brown, which is right here, so we're good to go. Going in from the back for the color change on this one again. Okay, and three double crochets into that same chain space. And now, see, even when you, even your best efforts, they can still get tangled a little bit. <laughs> All right, so now that we've done our dark, we're gonna do four light brown squares, okay? So we have a light brown here. So let's see, we're gonna do one here, two, three, and four. So we can, it will connect to this one. So we can use this one, we can bring it down, and then we can work around it if we want to. We don't need this black, so let's go ahead and cut that away. Okay, give yourself some slack. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, we're gonna go in from the back here and do our slip stitch to connect. Again, making sure that it is tight, but not too tight, right? We don't want it to pucker the work. All right, now go ahead and do your chain two and three double crochets. That's gonna secure that jump really well. And we're gonna go ahead and work around the gi that giant jump that we just made here. So just to show you one more time, and then I'll go ahead and let you finish going up that um, those four light squares. But we're gonna go around that jump that we just made. Okay, so that way it hides it in the middle of the work. Okay, 
All right, so go ahead and finish doing your four light brown squares and I will meet you back after you're done with those. All right, so we finished our four light brown squares. We're gonna go ahead now and do one dark square. So we do have a dark brown right next door here, so that's great. We're gonna make sure it's nice and tight going in through the back on that light brown square next door and do your chain two, three double crochets. And then after the dark one, we're gonna be doing one black and then one white. So let's get our black. We're done now with this brown, okay. All right, so I'm grabbing my black bobbin because that's what's next here. I'm gonna get it ready. And then go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect, going in through the back, okay. Going through the back again. Chain two and three double crochets with this black. And then we're gonna switch over to the white. And this white is right next to it. So we're, again, we're gonna have to do that little wrap in order to make it so it's not a visible um, climb because it's gotta go up this stair here. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it to the back going in from back to front and then bringing that yarn forward, okay? And going through between the work that we're working on and that, that little jump um, turnaround that we did here. Okay, so go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect. Chain two, three double crochets with the white and then we're gonna switch to dark for three squares. Okay, so we've just finished our white there. We've got our dark brown right there, so it's ready to go. Okay, again, it's right next to it, so we need to bring it to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over in the front there, and then pull through. All right, and then work as you would normally, and we're just gonna do three dark brown squares before we get to another yellow square. Meet you at the end of that. Okay. So we've done three dark brown squares. Now we're going to switch back to this yellow here. Again, it's right next door, so bring the yarn to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over from the back, and then pull through. And chain two, three double crochets, and that will end row 15. We're getting very close to where we're gonna be able to start decreasing. We've just got about five more rows, and then we'll begin decreasing. All right, so we've done our yellow. So now on row 16, we start with two yellow squares. So let's go ahead and start by making our increase. We're gonna do five chains, three double crochets in the third chain, starting in the third chain from the hook, and then in the other two chains. Pin your bobbins. Okay, spin your work and flip it up. Okay, tails down, pull the bobbins away. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna do one more yellow square. Next, we're gonna do three of the dark brown squares. So we're right next door again. Make sure it's nice and tight. Pull the yarn to the back. Hook from back to front and then bring that yarn forward to yarn over. Pull through and do your chain two and three double crochets making sure not to grab this tail like I almost did just there. So I'm curious, you guys, if you've read Wish Weaver, how did you like it? Who was your favorite character? Which of these squares is the one you're looking forward to the most? And which one are you dreading doing because of all those loose ends? I will tell you right now that having worked on all of these squares, that the Wish Weaver Oak Tree would be the one with the most ends because there's a lot of those br different browns and color changes. So that one I'm going to save for the end when you are a breeze at doing corner to corner crochet and it's a little less daunting. <laughs> All right, so we've done three of our dark brown squares. We're now going to do a black square, okay? So we actually don't need this white, so let's clip that away. We're gonna use this dark black here, okay? Go ahead and go in from back to front and do just one of these black squares. 
Next, we're gonna do a light brown square. Okay, so since we don't have a light brown square close by, we are going to attach one. So grab another bobbin, get it ready. All right, and then go ahead and pull that through. We're only doing one light brown, and then we're switching to dark brown. So now let's get that tail put to the back, grab this dark brown right next to it, bring that yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back. And make sure you pull the right tail there so it stays nice and tight. Chain two and three double crochets. Okay. We're only doing one dark brown and then we're switching back to light brown here. And we're doing light brown for three squares, okay? So let's just get this color change again. We're bringing this, this yarn to the back, hook from back to front, and then bring that yarn forward to wrap around your hook. That makes the nice twist that you can't see. Chain two, three double crochets, and then go ahead and finish doing those light brown squares. You're gonna do, again, three light brown squares. All right, now that we've done our three light brown squares, you can drop that. We're gonna do a dark brown square. So hook from back to front, grab that dark brown and do your slip stitch to connect. Chain two and three double crochets with the dark brown. Then we're gonna switch back to the light brown, which is also right here. So once you finish that one, pull it away, grab your light brown, keep it nice and tight. Okay, do your slip stitch to connect, chain two and three double crochets. If you've had a chance to read Wish Weaver, I would love it if you would take a moment to go ahead and review it on Amazon. It's such a huge deal for us authors to get those reviews. Let's everybody know that you love a story, that you love its characters. It's such an important thing. If you can imagine when you are buying something, you always look at those reviews, right? To see which books are worth buying and which ones aren't. So if you have a moment, it would be a huge, huge favor to me to go ahead and just leave a review for me um, on Amazon and Goodreads too if you're over on Goodreads as well. Just a co quick copy and a paste. Okay now we're switching to dark brown so I'm going in through the back. I've got my yarn ready here with the slip knot on my hook making sure to grab that working yarn. chain two and then work around that tail to begin fastening it. Okay, and row 16 ends by doing two yellow squares. So let's tuck this tail to the back, pick up our yellow that's right next door, you bring the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back, and pull right through. Chain two, three double crochets, and go ahead and finish off this row and I will meet you for the turn. All right, so I finished row 16. We're starting row 17, and we're gonna start it with three yellow squares. So I've pinned all my bobbins. I'm gonna go ahead and do my increase here, my chain five, and three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to flip. Okay, we're flipping up. Pull the tails down, unpin your bobbins. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do two more yellow squares. I'll meet you back at the end of those. Okay, so I've done three yellow squares. Now I'm gonna be switching to the light brown. So we're not gonna need this dark brown. Let's go ahead and clip that away. Okay, grab your light brown right here. And from the back, we're gonna go ahead and connect it. Okay, we're just doing one light brown and then we'll be switching to dark brown for six squares, okay? So we're gonna just do one of these, put it off to the side. Let's see, do we have dark brown? We do, yay! All right, so from back to front, grabbing that dark brown yarn, doing your slip stitch to connect, chain two. And then you're going to go ahead, as I said, you're gonna do six dark brown squares. That means that you'll be able to cut off this light brown right here. Let's 
go ahead and snip that away. And continue up the stair. All right, so we've done six dark brown squares. Now we are gonna go ahead and do two light browns. We're right next door to the light brown. Let's bring that to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn overing, yarning over from the back, and pulling through, chain two, and three double crochets. Okay. Now we're not going to need the dark, we're not gonna need the black. And actually this was another one of the dark browns that we didn't need, so I'm clipping that away. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip the black, because we don't need it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do one more light brown square. So we've done our two light brown squares. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab another bobbin of white. Prep the bobbin thread here, making our slip knot. Okay, and now let's just look ahead in the pattern. So we're gonna do two white squares and then we're gonna do one dark square. So in order to avoid having another end to tie in, what you can do is bring this dark up on the ladder or on the stairs, okay? You're gonna work around it, much like you would normally have done when you were um, jumping down the stairs, but we're bringing it up the stairs this time, okay? So let's go ahead and work our white as usual. Only difference being is we're gonna trap this dark brown yarn in between as well, okay? So let's do our three double crochets with the white two and three okay we're gonna do one more white so let's get rid of the tail towards the back okay you want to make sure that that brown stays along the side and doesn't sort of jump forward okay and keep it nice and and taut okay going in now from the front because we're still doing white we're doing our usual chain two and three double crochets around that dark brown tail make sure that you're going around it otherwise you will see it okay your other option would have been to cut off the brown yarn have one more tail to tie in and then um, just attach a new thread of that yarn up here okay we finished our white so we're going to drop our white now we're going to use this dark brown so the way that I like to do this so that it sort of creates that same twist and it's less noticeable. I bring it towards the front, I come in from the back, I grab the yarn and I pull it through and I make it as tight as I can without it buckling. And then you don't see the jump at all, okay? So go ahead and do your chain two as usual and your three double crochets. And we're just doing one dark and then we'll be switching back over to this yellow that's right here. Okay, so move your one, your brown over, bring your yarn of your yellow to the back, hook from back to front, and bring that forward from the back, creating that nice twist so that you don't see it. And then go ahead and finish off this row, making two yellow squares. We finished row 17. We're gonna go ahead and start row 18. Row 18 starts with two yellow squares. So go ahead and do your increase here. We're still doing increasing. And then go ahead and get it ready to flip. Okay, now we flip our work up. Bring the tails down and unpin bobbins. Now we're gonna do one more yellow square. So we're going in from the front. And then after the yellow, we're switching to dark brown. All right, so let's finish this guy. Set him off to the side. Grab your dark brown, which is right here. We're ready and waiting. Okay, keep that yellow nice and tight. Three double crochets. Now we're going to be switching to black for two squares. Okay, so we're not gonna need this white, so let's go ahead and cut that one away. We are going to need black, so let's grab our black. Let's go ahead and attach our new color going in from the back and pulling through. Keep that dark brown nice and tight. And again, we are doing black for two squares. 
So I will meet you at the end of those two squares. Okay, we've done the two black squares. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do two light brown squares. We have our light brown right here. So let's go ahead and attach that, changing our color, and then go ahead and do two light brown squares. Okay, now we've done our two light brown. We're switching over to our dark brown, which is right here. So go ahead and change colors going in through the back as we usually do. And you're gonna go ahead and make three dark brown squares. Okay, so we've done our dark brown. We're gonna need to switch to black and I'm not gonna need this other black. So rather than make a new bobbin, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off now and use this black bobbin up here. All right, so let's go ahead and connect the black yarn. Coming in through the back, make sure you're using your working tail here, or your working yarn, not your tail. I should say it that way. <laughs> that makes more sense. All right, here we go. We're doing black just for one square here. Then pull the tail, tuck it to the back. You need to get a white bobbin because we're gonna do two white squares. All right, so go ahead and go in through the back and attach your white yarn. Okay, pull that black tail tight there, chain two, and then continue doing your white yarn squares for two, two squares. All right, we finished our two white squares. We're switching over to this light brown right here. We're just gonna do one light brown square and then we'll be switching to the dark brown. So you are gonna get another bobbin of dark brown that we'll be attaching. Okay, so we're gonna go in from the back, grab a dark brown bobbin, getting it ready here, do my slip knot, attach it onto my hook, and pull through chain two, three double crochets, and then we're only doing one of the dark brown, and then we're gonna be switching to yellow to finish off the rest of this row. Okay, so pull the tail, tuck it to the back, grab your yellow, bring it to the back because we're right next door, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back, and pull through, tightening that dark brown in the back there, chain two, and go ahead and finish this row doing a total of three yellow squares. All right, so we've gone ahead and we've finished row 18. We're gonna do starting row 19, and row 19 starts with three yellow squares. So go ahead and do an increase in yellow and get ready to flip. Flip your work up and tuck your tails down, unpin your bobbins. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with the yellow doing two more yellow squares. We've done our three yellow squares. Now we're gonna pick up our dark brown square here, making sure you're grabbing not the tail left over there, but the working yarn. Okay, go ahead and switch colors. We're just doing one dark brown square. Okay, there's the one dark brown. Grab your light brown. We're gonna do two light brown squares. Okay, there's two light brown squares finished. Now we're switching over to black. We don't need this white anymore, so go ahead and snip that away. We're gonna bring this black down. Okay, down the stairs. And then we're gonna make sure that it is tight, but not too tight. It will loosen a little bit. Okay, and then do a total of three black squares, making sure that you're trapping that jump in between them so that we don't see it. Okay, there's three black squares. Now we're gonna switch to dark brown, which is right here, bringing it to the back, hook from back to front and yarning over from the back. Pull through, tighten your black yarn. Make sure it's everybody stays nice and tight. I can't stress that enough, because that way you're not gonna see any extra gaps or loose squares that don't seem like they're connected very well. You're gonna keep everything nice and neat. Okay, okay, so we're doing four dark brown squares and 
I notice that on the last one, we need to actually carry that light brown up the stairs. So we're gonna do that part together. So we've done three. Okay, here's the light brown, because we're gonna be switching to the light brown after we're done with the four dark browns. So bring that light brown up the stairs right here, laying it across the stitch that or the area we're gonna be stitching into. We're going in from the front because we're still using the dark brown, but we're trapping that light brown that we're bringing up the stairs in between our stitches here, okay? So just for this one square, that's what we're doing. So now we finished with the dark brown, so set that off to the side. We're picking up this light brown here, so make sure that that, that tail right there is to the side and then pull. So bring this tail to the front hook from back to front now bring it to the back and then pull it through making sure to keep it as tight as you can to try to trap it so that you're not seeing it very much at all all right and then continue working with the light brown yarn we're going to do light brown for three squares you will be cutting off this black right here because we're done with it so go ahead and finish those light brown squares and cut that black thread off Okay, we've done our three light brown squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch to dark, which is right next door, so bring it to the back, hook from back to front and yarning over from the back. Okay, keep everything nice and tight. We're only doing dark for one square, then we're switching to yellow to finish off row 19. So let's do that now. The yarn is right next door, so let's bring it to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back. Tighten the dark brown and finish off the rest of row 19. We finished row 19, we're doing, gonna do row 20, which is the end of the increasing rows, and then we'll begin decreasing. So we're gonna start with three yellow squares. So go ahead and make an increase with yellow and get ready to flip. Okay, I'm flipping the work, pulling my tails down and unpinning my bobbins at the top. Row 20, we do three yellow squares, we've done one. So let's go ahead and do two more. So we've done three yellow squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch to dark brown. Okay, bring it to the back since we're right next door. Hook from back to front, yarning over from the back and pulling through, tightening that yellow yarn in the back there. All right, we're only gonna use dark brown for one square here. So go ahead and just do that with me really quick. And then we're gonna be switching over to the light brown, which is right here. So pull it tight, bring the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back to connect. And then go ahead and do two light brown squares. Okay, we've done two light brown squares. Now we're switching back to dark brown, which is right here. We're gonna be doing five dark brown squares before we switch back to light. We aren't going to need this black up here, so you can go ahead and clip that away now. All right, go ahead and switch to your brown, your darker brown, and go ahead and do five dark brown squares. Okay, we've done five dark brown squares. Okay, we're gonna grab this light brown. We're gonna be doing four light brown squares. So bringing this light brown down the staircase here, we're gonna go ahead and connect, tightening that dark brown. Make sure this is pretty tight again. We're gonna trap that jump in between our stitches as we've done a few times before that. And then go ahead and continue up the stairs around the jump and do a total of four light brown squares. We've done our four light brown squares. We're switching over now to dark brown for one. And then we're gonna finish off row 20 doing yellow squares. There's gonna be a total of four yellow squares. And then we're gonna be starting the corner. So we'll begin decreasing at that point. Let's switch over to yellow. And then go ahead and finish doing four yellow squares. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've finished doing four yellow squares. We're at the corner, now we need to begin decreasing. We've built it up as high as it needs to go. It's 20 squares by 20 squares. 
Now row 21 begins with three yellow squares, but rather than increasing, we're decreasing. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, okay? Now we're gonna flip it, and I'm not gonna pin everything yet because I wanna just show you first before I do all that, okay? So we've chained three. Normally to increase, we would chain five, right? So we've done three chains. This is working back up this last square here. Now go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect, okay? That's creating this corner. Now go ahead and chain those last two. So see, you've still got that five chain, but we're working back up the square. All right, so you did a three chain, slip stitch to connect, two chain, and then you do your three double crochets as you would normally do. Okay, so now when you're looking at it, you've got a nice corner. And that's what we're gonna do on every side when we're doing a decrease. We do the three chain, we do a slip stitch to connect it to the top of that other square, chain two, and there are three double crochets. And that's how you do a decrease, okay? So let's go ahead at this point, let's pin our work and we'll get ready to flip so we can actually do row 21. All right, so we've gone ahead and flipped our work. Let's go ahead and unpin our bobbins. Pull the tails down and out of the way. All right, so let's go ahead. We've done one yellow square so far on row 21. We need to continue going up doing yellow for two more squares. So go ahead and continue up the stairs two more squares. All right, we've done three yellow squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a dark brown square. So grab your dark brown. Connect it from going in through the back. Just doing one dark brown square, that's it. And after this, we're going to be going to white. So go ahead and grab a white, a new white bobbin. Okay, now at this point, I see that there is a light brown. So what I would do is I'd look at the pattern and look ahead, okay? There's gonna be a white square here then there's gonna be another dark square, and then there's gonna be three light squares. So you have one of two options. You can cut this off and then join up here to do the light when you get to it, or you can carry it up and just continue working new colors around that light color, because it will be hidden along the top of these light uh, squares that are already here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way so I can show you. So first, we don't need to do anything. We're just connecting our white yarn. We've only got to do one white square. So let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, we've done our one white square. Take, tuck that tail to the back and get it out of the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and run this light square along the top. Going in from the back here, we need to grab a dark brown. So let's get another bobbin going here. Okay, go ahead and connect it. Tighten the white. Make sure that that light brown is running along the top here. And go ahead and do your chain two. Three double crochets around the light brown. Okay, go ahead and tuck the dark brown tail to the back. Drop your dark brown. Now we need to grab this light brown. You see the jump right there, okay? So hold it onto the side and then pull so that it's nice and tight, okay? Now we're gonna go in from back to front, keeping the yarn in the front, and now kind of swirl it to the back here and pull through. Okay, tighten this dark brown and make sure, you might have to wiggle it a little bit, make sure it's nice and tight so that you don't see that that carry up that we just did, okay? And then let's go ahead and work now with this light brown yarn. We're just gonna do a total of three light brown squares. So one, two, and three. I will meet you back at the end of those. All right, we've done our three light browns. Now we're switching over to the dark brown and we're gonna do dark brown for two squares. So we're right next door, bring the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, and then yarn over from the back. and then go ahead and do two dark brown squares. All right, we need to do one black, so grab a black bobbin, get it ready. Okay, just one, so let's connect the black, 
tightening the dark brown in the back, chain two, three double crochets. And then after the black one, we're switching to light for just one square and then we'll be going back to dark brown, okay? So go ahead and tuck the black to the back. Okay, now we need to get one light square. So we're actually done with the light being up here. We don't wanna carry it down because otherwise you would see that jump. So we're gonna cut this one away. Okay. So let's grab some light, new light bobbin. Get it ready. All right, and then go ahead and do your color change here. And just do one light square, and then again, we'll switch to dark brown. And we do have a dark brown bobbin up there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna bring it down the stairs and we'll work around the jump that we do. So grab your dark brown from up here, go into the spot that we're gonna be working into next, grab your yarn and pull through to connect, pulling the light brown in the back. Make sure you have enough slack for it to go across the tops, but just not too much. See, you don't wanna do that because see, you don't want it to pucker like that, okay? So make sure that there's, it's tight, but not too tight as I'd said before, okay? That's a little too tight. Just kind of work it until you feel like it's a good tightness. Like that looks perfect to me. Okay, so make sure that stays nice and tight. Go ahead and do your chain two, three double crochets, and we're gonna work a total of three dark brown squares around the jump that we did. And it will loosen a bit as we're working around it, as I've said. Okay, we've done our three dark brown squares. You see those there. Now we're gonna switch to yellow to finish off the square and then do another decrease. So go ahead and switch colors here. Should be becoming demystified for you. I hope by this point you're just sailing through these color changes on the occasion where you're not too sure if you should carry a yarn down or up the stairs. That's what this tutorial is for, just to really help you through this full first square. And then that way you'll be off and running for the next ones. All right, so this is the last of the yellows. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our next decrease together. All right, so there's three. So now we're next to this one. We're gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect but we don't wanna build up, okay? Remember what we did last time. We're gonna go ahead and do a chain three, one, two, three. That builds us back up along the side of the square that we just made. We're gonna do a slip stitch to connect. There's our corner. Chain two, and then three double crochets to start our next row, which is going to be row 22 and we're gonna be doing two yellow squares. So let's just do those right now, okay? Well, before we do our flip, we'll just finish off these yellows, pin our bobbins, and get ready to flip. Okay, pinned our bobbins. Now we're flipping our work and then unpinning bobbins. All right, we've done our two yellow squares. Next, we're switching to dark brown for two squares. So go ahead and change colors here and then go ahead and do two brown squares. We finished two of the brown squares. Next on row 22 we're going to go ahead and do one black square. So grab a black bobbin. We're only doing one. So we're going to go in from the back, attach our new color, bring it through and do our three double crochets here. All right, so there's the black. Drop the tail to the back. Next, we're doing one light, which is right here. So let's go ahead and make sure it's tight. We're gonna go in from the back to do our color change. And we're just doing one light square. Then we're actually switching back to black, but we already have the bobbin there, so we don't need to attach a new one. We're good. 
So grab your black now, your other black. Do another color change. And then just one, because we're gonna switch back to doing dark brown after this one. All right, so now we've got our dark brown. We're gonna be doing six dark browns and then switching to white. So let's count up and see if we can cut away some of these other ones here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So these two we don't need. All right, so go ahead and cut those away. And then go ahead and let's do our color change with our dark brown. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump the video ahead and I'll let you do those on your own. Go ahead and do those six dark brown squares. Okay, so we've finished the six dark brown squares. Now we're switching over to white. So you drop your tail. Your white is right here. So let's go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight. Going in through the back, grab your white yarn and pull through. And we're only doing one white square here. So let's go ahead and just do that one together. So we're doing our three double crochets. And then we're going to be switching back over to dark brown, which is right here. So grab that, going in from the back, and then do one dark brown square. And then after the dark brown square, we're doing three yellow squares to finish off row 22. Okay, so let's grab our yellow which is right there. It's nice when they're right there for you. You don't have to add a new bobbin. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish row 22, and I will meet you at the decrease at the end of this row. All right, so here we are. We've finished our three yellow squares. I've already pinned my bobbins. Let's go ahead and do our decrease. So we're gonna connect it by doing our slip stitch to connect, chain three, and instead of doing an increase we're going to flip our work around and do a slip stitch into the last square of row 22. Now we'll chain two more and three double crochets in that chain space there. Okay and that starts row 23. We're doing two yellow squares so let's go ahead and flip our work and unpin our bobbins and then go ahead and do one more yellow square. Okay we've done two yellow squares. Now we're going to go ahead and do one dark brown square. So grab your dark brown right here, going in from the back for the color change, and do one dark brown square. Then we're going to be switching over and doing one white square, which is right next door as well. So we don't have to attach anything new. Here it is. Let's go ahead and grab that one from the back. Just doing that one. I hope this is getting super easy for you and you're understanding how you do the color changes and whatnot. Okay, so we've done one dark brown, one white. Now we're gonna switch back and do six dark brown squares, okay? So we're coming in from the back again, grabbing our dark brown, pulling the white tight, and then chain two, three double crochets, and go ahead and do those six dark brown squares. I'll meet you at the end of those. All right, we've done our six dark brown squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch to our black right here. We're just gonna be doing one black square. So go ahead and grab your black in from the back, always tightening the last color that you worked with, making sure everything stays nice and tight. Okay, so there's one black square. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and switch to the light. So grab that from the back. And we're only going to be doing one light brown square. All right, there's one light brown square. Now we're gonna switch to white, and we don't have a white, so let's go ahead and grab another white bobbin. Okay, get it ready. go in through this other light brown square next to our the one we just made and we'll grab the new color tightening the last color that we used there all right and now we're working with the new color here 
After this, we're going to be switching to black, which we do have right next to where we're working with this white here. So let's grab that. Now again, this is next to it down, so we need to come up with it. So let's wrap it to the back, hook from back to front, and yarning over from the back, and then pull that through. Okay, now we're doing one of the black squares, and then we're gonna switch to dark for just one square. So let's just do these together since they're just little single squares here. Okay, now there's the dark right next to us. Again, bringing it to the back, hook from back to front, and then yarning over from the back. Okay, pulling my black tight. Go ahead and do your three double crochets, and then we're going to switch over and do two yellow squares. That's gonna finish off row 23. So let's grab our yellow. We're just going in from the back to grab it, tightening the dark brown, and go ahead and finish those yellow squares. I'll meet you at the decrease. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've done our two yellow squares. We're gonna go ahead and do our decrease. So slip stitch to connect it, chain three, and then flip it just enough so that you can do another slip stitch on the uh, top of the last square that we just finished in the last row. Chain two and three double crochets continues on doing our decreasing. We're gonna be doing two yellow squares, so go ahead and do those now. Okay, we've done our two yellow squares here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to dark brown. So it's right next door, let's bring it to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back. Okay, make sure you pull the yellow tight. I did have to switch yellow, so that's why there's extra tails back there. And let's finish just doing one dark brown square. Then we're gonna switch over and do two black squares. We are not going to need the white that's right there. So let's go ahead and snip that one away. Okay, making sure to bring the tails down so they don't get mixed up with everything else. Bring that black yarn to the back hook from back to front and yarning over from the back, pull that dark brown tight, okay, and do two black squares. Okay, we've done two black squares. Now we're gonna switch to the light. So go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight, bring it to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back. Okay, make sure that black stays tight. Chain two and three double crochets. All right, we're only doing one of the light brown yarns. So let's just do that together. All right, we're switching now back to the black. So go ahead and bring that yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back and pull through, tightening that light brown yarn. Okay, we're only doing one black square here. There's two and three. Okay, now we're switching back over to this dark brown. Bring that yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back again, tightening that dark black tail there. Now we're doing three dark brown squares, okay? So let's do those and I'll meet you at the end of that. Okay, we've done three dark brown squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and get two white squares. Now, we have a white up here, but if you look, we're only doing two squares, which means these will not connect, okay? But there's no other white in this row. So let's go ahead and just snip this bobbin away, and we can go ahead and use that one down here, okay? So I'm just gonna get it ready again. There we go. Hook from back to front and grab my little slip knotted white there. Okay, make sure that you have your working yarn tail here instead of the tail of the yarn. And do your three double crochets. Now that we've finished the two white squares, we're gonna do two dark squares. Now, because there's a dark up here, it will connect up there, so let's go ahead and bring this yarn down the stairs here. So go in through the back, grab the dark brown from above, pull it through, making sure it's tight but not too tight. Chain two and three double crochets. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the second dark brown square working around the jump that you just made. So let's do that together. We're going underneath that yarn so that we trap it. 
along the top of the white square below and just work the three double crochets around the jump so you don't see it. Okay, there it is. Now you don't see it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and finish off the row by doing two yellow squares. So grab your yellow right here, going in through the back, tightening that dark brown, and finish off this row. I'll meet you at the decrease. Okay, now we've done our two yellow squares. Let's go ahead and slip stitch to connect. Chain three. Flip enough to where you can do your slip stitch here and the top of this yellow square we just did in the last row. Chain two, three double crochets. Now for this row, we're gonna be doing two yellow squares to start. We're on row 25. So go ahead and do those two yellow squares and pin your bobbins and do your flip. Okay, we finished our two yellow squares on row 25. Now we're switching to the dark brown. It's right next door, so let's bring that yarn to the back. Hook from back to front, yarning over from the back. I'm pulling through, tightening that yellow yarn, and then do your chain two, three double crochets, and go ahead and do two dark brown squares. Okay, we've done two dark brown squares. Drop your dark brown. Now we need to do a black square. And if you look ahead, we have our white here. We're gonna do one black square, and then we need to do one white square, which means that we need to carry this white yarn with us so that we have one less end to tie in, okay? So we're gonna go in through the back, leaning, leaving this yarn, uh, this working white yarn here along the top. All right, so we need to grab black, and I don't have another black bobbin made up right now. So since I still have two pretty good sized black bobbins here, they're just attached already, I'm gonna look ahead in my pattern, and I see that there's only one black more in this pattern. It's gonna be the second bobbin of black up here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and cut this one off, the first black bobbin that's closest to where we need it, and we're just gonna use that black bobbin, okay? Now, if you had another one, you wanted to hold off on cutting this one off, that's fine too. But I want to go ahead and not have to wind another bobbin at the moment um, because I might not actually need to in this pattern. I don't know yet. We're working through this together, so I can't even tell you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab that black yarn and bring it through. Again, we've got our white. We're bringing it up with us. We're just not working on it, okay? So chain two three double crochets around that white yarn that we're bringing up and around that black tail from the one we just connected. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and bring the black tail to the back, drop your black yarn, lay the, the jump that we have here that was going up the stairs along the side of that white square and then pull it fairly tight. Bring the yarn to the front hook from back to front and then sort of bring it to the back here and twist to grab it. Okay, so now it's nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our white square. We only have one white square right now and then we're gonna be switching over to the dark brown. Let's just go ahead and do the white together. All right, I'll go ahead and put it off to the side. Grab your dark brown. We're gonna be doing three dark brown squares. So bring your dark brown to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back, and pull through, tightening the white. Go ahead and do those three dark brown squares. I'll meet you at the end of those. We're right next to where we cut off the black yarn, the one we didn't need. We finished our three dark brown squares and we're switching over to light. We're gonna be doing light brown here for two squares. So go ahead and going in from the back, switch over to your light. Pulling your, black, your dark brown yarn tight in the back. And then go ahead and do two light brown squares. Okay, we've done our two light brown squares. Now we're switching over to the black, the other black bobbin that we left on there. I brought the yarn to the back. Okay, let me just show again. Brought the yarn to the back since it was down below. Hook from back to front, yarning over from the back. And we'll pull that through, tightening that light brown. And then we're just going to go ahead and do one dark brown black square here and then we'll switch over to dark brown okay so there's the black move that aside dark brown yep there he is right next to us so go ahead and grab that switch your colors and just doing one dark brown and then we're going to go ahead and finish off row 25 with yellow we're going to be doing two yellow squares 
right? So when you're done with your dark brown, drop that. Grab, make sure you're grabbing your working yarn. Whenever you have extra tails nearby, you wanna make sure you're grabbing the working yarn. Okay, going in from the back here, grab the yellow. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish this row. Do two more yellow squares. All right, I finished the two yellow squares. I'm gonna do our slip stitch here to connect. Chain three for our decrease. Flip it enough to go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect it to the last square you just made on the row 25. Chain two and do your three double crochets. We're starting row 26. Row 26 just has one yellow square. So we'll go ahead and just do that one together. I've already pinned my bobbins. If you haven't, go ahead and pause the video, pin your bobbins. Now we're flipping our work and go ahead and unpin your bobbins. Okay, so we've done our one yellow square. We're gonna switch over to the dark brown. So go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight. Hook from back to front, grabbing the new color. Tightening, oops, tightening the yellow in the back. Okay, we're just gonna do one dark brown and then we're gonna be switching over to light brown after this. So drop your dark brown. Now we gotta look for the light brown. Okay, we're not gonna need the black, so let's go ahead and cut that one away. Bring the tail down. We are, however, going to need light brown, and I'm running off, I'm running out of that bobbin there, but we'll see if we have enough to do these two light squares, okay? So we're gonna go in from the back. We're bringing it down the stairs a little bit, but we are going to be connecting it to the light up here. So go ahead and do two light brown squares around that jump that you just did. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of that. All right, I finished the two light brown squares. I did have to connect a new bobbin because I ran out. We'll go ahead and drop that. Now we're gonna be switching to dark brown, but we're only doing one dark brown square. So we don't wanna grab the one up here. We need to attach another bobbin. We're gonna be doing one dark brown, then a light, and then switching to the dark here, okay? So go ahead and grab another dark brown bobbin. We're gonna go ahead and attach a new dark brown bobbin, okay, just for one square. And then we're gonna be switching back to the light. You only need this light for one square. If you look at the picture, I do that often. I'll look at the picture and kind of see where I'm at and where I might be needing bobbins or not needing bobbins and in this case we only have one more of the dark brown and i don't have a lot but i have this little bit here so i'm just going to use this because i don't want to make another bobbin <laughs> and i won't have to because i do still have this one which only is needed for maybe one more square and then i'll be able to use that one if i need it anywhere else all right so go ahead and just do one light brown And then after the light brown, we're gonna go ahead and do two dark brown squares. Okay, there's the light brown. Grab your dark brown, bring it to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back. And pull it nice and tight. And go ahead and do the dark browns on your own, just doing two dark brown squares. All right, there's two dark brown squares. Go ahead and drop that dark brown. You're gonna be switching over to black. We're doing black for three squares, okay? We don't need this white. Let's go ahead and cut that away. Bringing the tail down. Grab your black. We're gonna bring it down the stairs here because we're gonna need it for three of them. So it will connect to the square that's up here. All right, making sure it's pretty tight, but not too tight enough to buckle. And go ahead and working around that jump, we're gonna do three black squares. Okay, there's three black squares. We're switching over to the dark for two squares. Go ahead and bring the dark brown to the back. Hook from back to front, yarning over from the back. Pull that black yarn tight. And go ahead and do two dark brown squares. Okay, we've done our two dark brown squares. We're switching to yellow. Yellow needs to be brought to the back. Hook from back to front, yarning over from the back to connect. and grab our new color here. We're only doing one yellow square before we do our decrease. We're reaching the closest point of where the biscuit touches the border. It doesn't actually touch the border, but it gets very close to touching the border. Okay, so now that we're right next to where our decreases have been, we're gonna go ahead and do our slip stitch to connect, chain three. Okay, flip it enough to do your slip stitch. 
and we're just doing one yellow square, okay? So chain two and do your three double crochets. And then go ahead and pin your bobbins and flip your work. Okay, so we've finished the first yellow square. I've unpinned my bobbins here, and we're gonna be working back up to complete row 27. So we've done one yellow square. We're now switching to dark brown, which is right next door. So we're gonna bring that to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back and pulling through. And we're just gonna do one dark square, and then we're gonna need to do a light brown square. So let's just do all that together. We're doing our three double crochets. And then put your bobbin off to the side over here. Okay, we don't have a light bobbin, so we need to grab another one. So get your bobbin ready. Okay, we're gonna go in from the back, grab your new color, making sure to grab the working yarn and pull that through, tightening the dark brown in the back and then do your light brown square we're only doing one oops we're only doing one of the light brown squares so let's just go ahead and do that together here we go there's two and three double crochets tuck that light tail to the back and the bobbin off to the side now we're switching over to black we have our black right here so we're going to be pulling it to the back hook from back to front yarning over from the back and pulling through we're gonna be doing black here for two squares, so go ahead and do that now. Okay, we've done our two black squares. Now we're switching back over to dark brown. We've got that right here, so let's go ahead and go in from the back and change your colors. Pulling that black tail, you always wanna keep those nice and tight, as I've said. Let's go ahead and just do one dark brown square. Okay, we've reached the part in the crawler biscuit where we're going to be doing the bite out of the cookie or the the biscuit there so let's go ahead and grab your yellow that's the next color we need get it ready you're going to be doing yellow for two so go ahead and get your new color on your hook grabbing that working yarn pull through and go ahead and do two yellow squares Okay, so we've done our two yellow squares. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to do a black square, okay? So we don't need light brown, so if you haven't cut that away already, go ahead and cut that away now. You're gonna need to grab a new bobbin of black since there's none close by. Get that ready. Okay, now let's go ahead and change colors, grabbing our working yarn, letting the tail drop, tightening the yellow in the back and do just one dark square, dark black square. Okay, tuck the tail to the back. We finished our black square. Now we're switching over to dark brown, which is right next door. So bring that yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarning over from the back and pull the black tight there in the back. And we're just doing one dark brown square. A lot of these are just little one squares here. So we'll just do those together. And the next color that we're gonna be using is this light brown, which is also right next door. So bring that to the back. Hook from back to front, yarning over from the back and pull through to, to switch your colors. And then go ahead and just do one light brown square. Now we're switching from light brown to dark brown, which is right here. So grab your dark brown. We're going in just over here on the one next to it. And just doing one dark brown square and then we're switching over to finish this row, row 27. We're finishing it off with one yellow square. So we're gonna yellow right here. Go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight when you do your color change. And do one yellow square. And then we're gonna do our decrease, pin our bobbins, and flip our work. All right, so there's the yellow square. We're doing our decrease, so we go in, we do our slip stitch, chain three, okay, partially flip so that we can just work into that square again, doing another slip stitch, chain two, and row 28 starts with one yellow square, so I like to do that one first, and then I'll pin the work and flip. All right, so we've done our, our yellow square, we've unhooked our bobbins, and we've pulled the tails down and the working yarns up. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch to this dark brown color, and we're doing the dark brown here for three squares. So we had to bring the tail to the back since we were down below. 
and to do this color change. And then we're gonna do three dark brown squares. If you jump or look rather ahead in the row, you're not gonna need this light color, so you can cut that one away. Okay, and then also these two are gonna connect, so you also don't need this dark brown, so you can cut that one away. And after the dark brown squares, the three dark brown, you're gonna be doing yellow, which is here. So you're not gonna need this black either. So let's go ahead and cut that one away. Okay. All right, so go ahead and do three dark brown squares and then I'll meet you for the color change. Okay, we've done three dark brown squares. Now we're switching back over to yellow. So go ahead and go in through the back of that black square and do your color change. We're doing four yellow squares, so as I do did on this last one here i like to look ahead in the pattern so let's decide if we can cut some off here so we're going to do one two three four yellow squares after yellow we're switching to light brown for two squares which means these two right here don't they're not needed anymore you can cut those two away the dark brown and the black we're not going to need those okay get those out of the way and then go ahead on your own and do four yellow squares all right, so we finished the four yellow squares. Now we're switching to the light. We're gonna bring it down from up here. All right, so we're gonna go in from the back and grab that light brown, pull it through, tightening the yellow. Again, making sure it's not too tight because we do want to work these two squares here around the jump that we just did, okay? So let's go ahead and do that together. There's one coming in from underneath so that you're trapping it in the middle. We're gonna do one more light brown and then we're gonna switch to the dark brown. Okay, there's two and three double crochets. Now we need the dark brown for one. Go ahead and grab it from the back there. All right, we're gonna do one, oops, one, two, Three. switch back over to the yellow to finish off row 28. Looking ahead at row 29, we're gonna start with one yellow square. So we're gonna go ahead and do our decrease now. Slip stitch to connect, chain three. Begin to flip, do your slip stitch to connect on the other side of the square, chain two. And would you look at that, I ran out of yellow. So I'm gonna to have to grab another bobbin. Okay. When this happens, where you are starting a new double crochet, you can actually count this as your yarn over. Okay, so then now we've got two on our hook. Just hold the threads down and then go ahead and grab them. You go through the two and through the two again, just like you would with a double crochet. So. So it was a nice little teaching experience, right? So that does happen sometimes where you run out in the middle of doing a square. Okay, so we did one yellow. Let's go ahead and pin our bobbins and flip. Okay, I've gone ahead and unpinned my bobbins. We are working through row 29. The next thing we need is two dark squares. So let's go ahead and grab our dark. It's right next door, so we bring it to the back. Yarn over from front to back, tightening that yellow in the back there. Okay, we're just gonna do two dark brown squares and after that we're switching to yellow so if you're looking ahead in the pattern we will not need this light brown so let's go ahead and clip that away do one more dark brown square now we're switching to yellow so go ahead and go in from back to front on this light brown square from the last row tightening the dark brown in the back just one yellow square and we're gonna start doing the little bits of cookie that are floating about, like they've been bitten off here. All right, so go ahead and we're gonna be grabbing one dark brown square. So grab your dark brown bobbin, getting it ready. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. And then we'll be switching back over to yellow so I'm gonna grab another yellow bobbin. Okay, we're going in from back to front, grabbing our new color, our yellow. We're just gonna do one yellow square. We're kind of going back and forth between the dark brown and the yellow right now. 
Oops, so we're gonna do one yellow square here. Then we're gonna switch back to dark. Go, we're gonna go ahead and do a dark brown square. Okay, we're gonna need now another yellow. Okay, so now we're connecting the yellow over here. We're just doing one yellow square. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and switch to dark brown. We have our dark brown right here, so let's go ahead and grab that one. We had to put the thread there from to the back because we were down below. And let's go ahead and do two dark brown squares. There's two dark brown squares. Now we're switching back over to the yellow around the border. For this one square, we'll do our another decrease. Okay, slip stitch to connect. Chain three. Start to flip, slip stitch again, chain two. Go ahead and do another yellow square and then we'll pin our bobbins and flip our work. Okay, we've done one yellow. We're gonna switch over to dark for one. Let's go ahead and bring that yarn to the back, hook from back to front and pull through. Just do one with me here. Then we're gonna switch over to yellow and we're gonna do yellow for two squares. So let's get this last double crochet, drop your yarn, grab your yellow, give yourself enough slack here. Okay, we've gone ahead and connected our yellow. We're gonna go ahead and do two yellow squares. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, there's two yellow squares done. We're gonna go ahead and switch over here to the dark brown. We're just going to do one dark brown square. So go ahead and do that with me here. After that, we're switching to yellow for three squares. Okay, so let's grab our yellow. We're gonna be switching to the yellow, as I said, for three squares. I'm starting to get tangled here. So let's just look ahead. We're gonna do one, two, and three, which means that we don't need this yellow, which is the one we cut off last time, and we don't need this brown. So let's go ahead and cut that one away. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our three yellow squares. Bring your yarn to the back, hook from back to front, and pull through, tightening the dark brown in there. And then go ahead and do three yellow squares. Okay, we've done three yellow squares. Now we're switching over to this dark. Go ahead and bring it to the back, hook from back to front, and yarning over from the back. We're just gonna do one dark brown square. And then we'll finish off this row. We're on row 30. We're gonna finish it off with one yellow square. Okay, there's number three of my double crochets. I'm gonna grab my yellow, hook from back to front for the color change. And then let's go ahead, we're gonna finish this square. We're gonna do our decrease. And then we'll do a partial flip. So let's do that now, okay? So let's go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect. Chain three to work up the other square that we just made. Slip stitch at the other end, chain two and three double crochets. Now row 31, which is what we're on now, starts with six yellow squares. We're getting towards the end here, so there's a lot less color changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and pin our work, and we'll flip, and we'll figure out which ones we don't need. Okay, all right, so I've done the flip. So we're working, we're over here now. We gotta do six yellow squares, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? So what that means is that this is going to connect to here, and then we're gonna do one dark square, and then we're gonna switch to yellow. So we actually don't need any of these other threads except for the yellow that we're currently working on, okay? So let's go ahead and clip all of those four away, giving yourself enough yarn to tie in later. And then let's go ahead and do those five more yellow squares. We've already done one. Let's do those on our own. Okay, we've done six yellow squares. I'm dropping that yellow. Now we're going to be doing one dark brown square. So let's grab our a dark brown bobbin. Okay, going in from back to front, grabbing your working yarn, pulling through. We're just doing one dark brown square. So we'll do that together. And then 
after that, we're switching to yellow for two squares. Let's go ahead and drop your brown, grab your yellow. We're gonna have to do a little jump here. And I might run out of yellow on this one, guys, so I might have to do another switch of the bobbins, but let's see. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to the yellow, do a little jump, pull that dark brown there in the back, and go ahead and do two yellow squares, trapping that jump. There's the two yellow squares. I did run out of yellow, so I had to go ahead and switch bobbins. Now I'm doing my decrease slip stitch to connect. Chain three, begin to flip. Okay. Then we're gonna slip stitch up here, chain two. And row 32 is just one yellow square, and then we switch over to the dark. So go ahead and do that now, and pin your work. Okay, we've done our one yellow square. Now we're switching to dark, so go ahead and hook from back to front, grab that dark brown right here, and do one dark square. There's two and three. Now we're switching from dark back over to yellow, which is right here. So let's grab our yellow, switch your colors, and we're just doing one yellow square. There's two and three. Now we're gonna go ahead and get another dark brown. So grab another dark brown bobbin. Okay, grab your working yarn there, pull through, tightening that yellow, chain two, and do your three double crochets. This is gonna be the last of the dark brown for this row. We're gonna be switching back to yellow and doing yellow for four squares. So you're gonna need one more yellow bobbin. Okay, connect your new yellow. And go ahead and finish this row with yellow squares, four yellow squares. Okay, so I finished the four yellow squares. I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch to connect, chain three, start to turn my work. I ran out of yellow again. As you get finished towards the end of this square, you're gonna start running out of a lot of your bobbins that you've made. So I need a new yellow. Um, currently we need three yellow squares, okay? We're gonna do three yellow squares then we're gonna do one dark and then three more yellow. Okay, so we're gonna do one, two, three yellows, one dark, and then three more yellows. So this one on the end, I'm gonna go ahead and cut away and use now because I ran out. I'm gonna start it up over here. Again, you don't need to do this unless you're running out of yarn, okay. So I have to slip stitch up here to connect. So I'm gonna do that since I'm on the edge. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the chain two with my new yellow and my three double crochets. Now go ahead and do three yellow squares. Okay, I've done three yellow squares. I need to switch over to the dark color. So let's grab that dark brown and we're gonna go ahead and just do one dark square We'll just go ahead and do that together here. I hope you've been enjoying this walkthrough. I know I have. Okay, we're switching now back to the yellow and we're gonna finish this square doing three yellow squares. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, we've done our three yellows. We're now gonna do our decrease. So slip stitch to connect, chain three, begin to flip. Slip stitch, chain two and three double crochets. We're now on row 34. This is the last row that has a color change, and after that, it's gonna be yellow all the way to the corner. All right, so we're gonna just do the one yellow. Now we need to do dark brown. We're only doing one dark brown. We don't need this dark brown, okay? It was just for that little spot there, that little piece of biscuit. All right, little crumbs. So let's go ahead and get this brown. We're just gonna do one little square of brown, another little crumb from the bite that presumably Whimsy took out of it. Okay, we're just gonna do the one brown square. And it's the last that we're gonna need the dark brown, so you can go ahead and cut it away now. From now on, all we're doing are yellow squares back and forth until we're finished with this 
corner here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this yellow down so I'm not attaching anything new. We're gonna have a little jump that we need to cover up and keep in between our stitches here. So just go ahead and work the rest of this row, which is row 34 with yellow, four yellow squares. Okay, we've done four yellow squares. Let's do our, our decrease here. I'm pretty confident that at this point you're a whiz at doing decreases. So from here on out, you're gonna go ahead and just go yellow all the way across, do your decreases at the ends, and then go all the way until you have finished the last row. At the last row, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna help you do the corner and then do the single crochet border around the square. Okay, I'll meet you back at the corner. Okay, so I finished all the yellows that worked our way up to the corner here. I have not gone ahead and done the decrease because I want to show you how the corner works up, okay? So I'm going to do what I normally did before. I'm going to slip stitch to connect, but you can tell here that the corner just looks a little sloped. So just as before, you do a three chain, flip your work one last time, and now it should look the same direction as the picture because this is the right side, even though it is reversible. This is what the pattern shows you, or this is what the grid shows you, okay? And then you did your slip stitch to connect, and that creates a better uh, point area for your corner. So now that we've finished that, the last part we have of this square is to obviously tie in our loose ends, but also we wanna do a single crochet border. So in order to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, on the corners, you need to work one single crochet on one side and two single crochets on the other side or the longer side. And make sure it's consistent. So if you did one single crochet here, then when you get to the other side, you're gonna do two single crochets there and then one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, and, and so on. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some of these together. It's a cinch when there's no color changes. If there are color changes, I always suggest that when you're working the pattern as you're doing color changes along the outside edge, try to remember if you can to leave a longer tail and that way when you get to the color, it's easy to just grab that color when you're doing your single crochets. Okay, so we're gonna go into the side space here. We're going to go ahead and just do one single crochet along that side. Now we're going to go in between the squares, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do a single crochet in between the squares. Now along the square again, we're doing one single crochet. You don't want to be too tight with these. You don't want there being any puckering. So if you work very tightly, you can always add extra single crochets if you need to, whether it's two on the sides or two in the middles, however you need to to make sure that it lies flat. Just make sure that also you're consistent with each of the squares, okay? So now we're gonna go in between the squares again and do a single crochet along the side square, single crochet, in between the square, single crochet, along the side of the square, single crochet. Okay, now I ran out of yellow, so I need to attach another bobbin. So I'm getting another bobbin of yellow. And I'm going to go into the back and grab my bobbin here. Pull it forward and then just finish off doing that single crochet as usual. Then go ahead and continue on. I will meet you at the other corner and I'll show you the corner. Okay, so I've reached the next corner. I've done the in-between space single crochet. Now, since I did a single crochet on the other corner along this row, I'm gonna go ahead and do two single crochets on this side of this square, okay? Now I'm gonna flip the work and then I'm gonna go ahead and do one more single crochet on this square, but on the other side of that square, okay? To create my nice corner without there being puckering. So two on one side, one on the other side, and then you continue on as usual, doing a single crochet along each side of the square and along the center in between the squares, okay? 
So I will meet you at the very end of the square and we'll finish this particular square. All right, so I'm at the very end. I'm doing my last two single crochets along that other side of that square we began with. You can see the initial single crochet there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch to connect and then go ahead and cut away that end, bring it through the loop and pull tight. And that's it. That's the crawler biscuit. And there you have it. Now all we have left to do is to tie in the loose ends. I will put in the link down below a video that I have on how to tie in loose ends if you're not sure how to do it. So go ahead and check out that video. And you have finished the first of the wish can squares. This is Lady Porcupine's Crawler Biscuits that she's the very best at making in Weyburn. I hope you're excited to read the Tales of Whimsy and learn more about the characters as we work our way through the wish can. I can't wait to share more of this story with you guys. All right, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. All right, thanks guys.